pass your real estate exam with PrepAgent.com. Remember, keep it concise and keep it simple. Ugh, math. Isn't it just the worst? We all hate it, but let me give you this advice. When you look at math, what you think you know, know it really well. Do not waste endless time on concepts that, even after spending many hours studying, you may or may not get correct. What's that expression? A jack of all is an expert of none? Let's start with a concept that everybody should get right when they're dealing with math. Percentages. Here's a sample of a question that comes up a lot on exams. A house sold for 345000 which was 9% more than the cost of the house. The original cost of the house was most nearly. Okay, so we have this question of what did the house originally cost? This is something we learned in middle school, and it's going to take a little refresher for everybody, but it is a really easy concept to nail down, and if you get it down, it will be an easy one on your real estate exam, and it is one of those math problems, so let's do it. First, we're working with... 345,000. It's 100%. But they're not asking about that. They're asking about what the original cost was, which is 9% less. So our next step is to take 9% and add it to 100%. That will give us 109%. Next thing we need to do is convert this to a decimal. Move the decimal spot over to the left two spots, and you get 1.09. Now, because we're trying to find a number that's smaller than 345,000, we're going to divide 345,000 by 1.09. And doing that will give us the number of 316,513.76. And there's your answer. Now, let's look at this going the other direction. A house sold for 345,000, which was 9% less than the cost of the house. The original cost of the house was most nearly. Okay, so we look at this and we have a similar formula. 100% is 345,000. You add 9%, which is 109%. You convert that to a decimal, which is 1.09. But now the difference is, because we're looking for a larger number, you take that 345,000 and multiply it by 1.09. And you get the number of $376,050. These percentage problems are really easy if you just understand what to do. So don't run away from math so quickly. There are some that will be very complicated, but some of you just take a second to learn some basic middle school math, you'll nail them down, and you'll pass your exam. For more great information to get past a real estate exam, remember, go to prepagent.com.